Hello, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus, my video blog on discipleship. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about obedience. I was driving along during a holiday recently. We drove past Monmouth School for Girls, um, so we're in that part of the country. And, uh, and, and we saw that their motto is serve and obey. Serve and obey. And, and, and part of me cringed at that because I was worried that the motto for Monmouth School for Boys would be something like command and conquer. But thankfully, they're the same, serve and obey. But even so, there's something about the concept of serv serving and of being obedient and of being submissive that are alien and kind of topics that cause us to cringe in our culture, isn't there? We kind of, we don't like the words obedience or submission and we kind of tend to reject them or downplay them because we believe that obedience is something that minimises us, that kind of stops us from re realising our full potential or um, it's controlling or oppressive somehow. And, and yeah, actually, when you look at the life of discipleship as portrayed in scripture, obedience is a key virtue. It's a key to life. I've been reading Ezekiel recently um, as part of the one year Bible. And in chapter 20 of Ezekiel, in verse 21, he says this, he's berating the people of God. He says, but their children too rebelled against me. They refused to keep my decrees and follow my regulations, even though obedience would have given them life. See, this is the, the kind of alien concept to us. God says, obedience to me brings life. It brings life and life in all its fullness. We tend to think that obedience smells of death, that it, it diminishes or uh, reduces our life or the possibilities of life. And God says the opposite, actually. Obedience to me, um, obedience to my kingdom reign, um, actually brings fullness of life. Um, I've been thinking about this in terms of... Um, uh, parenting at the moment and there was an incident the other day where my daughter was swinging a, a, a kind of a skipping rope round the wrong way round and so the wooden bits which are quite heavy were swinging round and I was worried she was going to hit herself around the head or her brother who's crawling around on the floor and I said oh you can stop that and she did it a couple of times and said, stop that no and she got upset and we had to explain to her we're not doing it because we want to stop your fun or we want to limit your joy we're doing it because we don't want you to get hurt and God's the same with us. Some of his, uh, his direction to us through scripture or through his spirit is not there to diminish our joy, but to protect us and to preserve our life. And that's part of the role. And, and, and we can't always see what God sees, just in the same way that my infant child can't see what I can see in terms of what might happen if she carries on swinging this ring around her head. And, and so we can get upset with God and think that he's out to stop us or stifle us. The actual fact he wants to preserve our life, but not just preserve our life, but to enhance our life. And Jesus said, I came to give you life in all its fullness. And I, I've met lots of people in, in, in life who have, who have given testimony to the fact that when God called them to obey, when he called them to step out, when his spirit prompted them to take a new course in life, even though it looked on the surface a bit costly, it actually led them into a fullness of life they hadn't known before, into a qualitative improvement in, in their joy and in their freedom. Um, because they were where God wanted them to be and uh, it meant life. And so I want to challenge you this week to think about how can you step into a greater posture of obedience to God? It might mean taking some specific action or giving way where God has been nudging you for a while. Or just saying yes to God and say, I'm going to be a yes man to God today or a yes woman. I'm going to be obedient to God uh, in every way that I can and, and so experience his life in all its fullness.